Hi, this is Lara Burke, Senior Marketing Coordinator at BrecoFlex, and today I'm going to show you how to write a BrecoFlex timing belt part number. Every basic timing belt part number includes a belt width, pitch, length, and belt construction. Belt length is specified in millimeters, and belt construction refers to open-ended M, splice and welded V, or truly endless BFX. Here's an example. Let's say you need a T10 timing belt that is 50 millimeters wide and 1500 millimeters long, and you need it to be a welded belt. Your part number follows the order of width, pitch, slash length, construction. So in this case, you'll have a 50 T10 slash 1500 V. There's always a slash mark between the pitch and the length. The exception to the standard part numbering system is if you're specifying an imperial or English pitch timing belt part number. In this case, there are two ways to write the part number, as shown here. The first method is the standard metric way I mentioned previously. In the second, imperial method, we use the format of length, pitch, width, construction, and we put the units of measurement in inches rather than millimeters. In this example, we have an 80 inch long H pitch belt that is two inches wide with a spliced and welded construction. If you need to include specifications such as variations, nylon coatings, special polyurethanes, and tension member options, you can add them to the basic part number yourself. Examples of variations could be double-sided DL, extra thickness DR, or a specialty belt such as Breco Protect, PRO, or Move Series, MOV, which is shown here. For nylon coatings, we offer three types that you can add to your part number. PAZ stands for nylon coating on the tooth side, PAR stands for nylon on the back, and PAZ, PAR is for nylon coating on both sides of the belt. You can also specify the type of polyurethane you require. Our standard is TPU ST1. But if you need something else, you can call it out, like the example shown here. Tension members other than standard carbon steel can also be added to your part number as follows. For combinations of several options, use this order in your part number. Width, pitch, variation, slash length, construction, facing, tension member type, cord flex type, polyurethane, color. For more detailed timing belts, such as those with backings, machining, profiles, or other instructions, we ask that you contact customer service or engineering for assistance. If you need to determine the part number for a pulley, all stock part numbers are listed on our website. If you're still unsure or have custom specifications, you can use the custom pulley part number generator. It's located in both the pulleys and custom pulley sections of our website. For your convenience, I've included the link in the description below this video. The great thing about the pulley part number generator is that you can easily submit your part for a quote directly from the page. We want you to be confident that you're being quoted and receiving exactly what you need, so feel free to call customer service or engineering with any questions you have at the number shown here. Thanks for watching.